Extra security at a local high school today after a gunman robbed a student in the school parking lot. It happened yesterday just across the street from Westlake High School. Travis County Sheriff's deputies say a man approached a student in the junior parking lot on the Shriner property. KXAN's Lindsay Bramson has been talking with people in that area who say they are scared and surprised by what happened there. Lindsay? Shannon, this type of crime is just not something people in this area are used to. Now, school let out less than an hour ago, and it was right around this time yesterday. The 16-year-old victim says she was targeted walking to her car. This is a pretty safe, uh, low-key community, and I don't think things like this happen very often. That must be pretty pretty unusual and hopefully it won't happen again. Those who live in the community near Westlake High School are happy to see an increased police presence. If, if it happened once, maybe the perpetrator still in the area and might try it again. Police say it happened in this parking lot right across the street from the school. They say the 16 year old student was walking to her car when a man believed to be in his 20s pointed a gun at her and demanded she hand over her cell phone. The first thing I thought is that it was a bit odd because usually security around here is not a big deal. Mike Piplinski has two kids at Westlake, including a daughter the same age as the victim. He says he's happy to see extra police patrolling the school. You have to be responsible for your own security. And I think it's a it's a reasonable response, and I think they're trying to do the right thing. Schools are supposed to be a safe environment, and we were really pretty shocked to find out that this happened yesterday. So we just want to make sure that our students and staff know that they need to just be aware of their surroundings. School officials say they're currently checking security cameras on campus to see if anything was caught on camera. In the meantime, as the investigation continues, so will the extra police. And of course, we plan to stay in close contact with school officials. And as soon as there's any new details, we'll be sure to put that information for you on KXAN.com. For now, reporting live in Western Travis County, I'm Lindsay Bramson, KXAN News. In the meantime, Austin police want to be able to keep a closer eye on Austin schools. They are working with AISD now to route school security cameras into the real-time crime center at APD headquarters. That way, when police respond to campuses after hours, they can look inside the school and around the campus at what's going on.